Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do a 60s look with a brief historical introduction. The 60s were the era of the hippies, the Woodstock concerts, the Beatles, the mini skirts, and uh, when we talk about fashion and makeup, we move from a, a fashion capital as Paris, which was very classical, to London, which is very cool and um, fashionable in those years. So also as a model, in the 50s we have a very sexy and curvy models as Marilyn Monroe, while in the 60s we have Twiggy, which is a London model, very uh, skinny, small, uh, with an androgynous look, which almost uh, look like men. And for me the makeup, uh, the look was especially brought on the eyes, uh, where we have a concentration of black and white, because the TV in those years was black and white, and for the lips and cheeks are almost nude, with pastel colors, uh, especially pink. As a base, I'm starting with the foundation L'Oreal True Match in the color beige and I'm applying it with the 205 brush in number 130 from MAC Cosmetics. And make sure you blend the products into the neck as well. For the under eyes area I'm gonna use two concealers, I'm starting with the Sunny Finish from MAC in the number NW25 because all the NW's colors are really warm and orangey so they can cover up the darkness. On the top I'm gonna apply the same concealer in the color NC20 which is more of a yellow undertone uh, because my friend Luisa is more olive skin tone. Now we're gonna set the base with the mineralized skin finish powder in the color medium plus. It's always from MAC, it's a mineral powder, really light, which is gonna give us a beautiful effect. And I'm gonna curl the lashes. And we're gonna pass on the eyes with a, a paint pot from MAC in the color soft ochre, which I'm applying with a dual fiber brush, and this is gonna get rid of all the discoloration of the eyes. As we said in the beginning, all the eye makeup is made of uh, black and white. So to make the, the white really pop out, I'm gonna use a white pencil on the eyelid and now I'm gonna set it with the white uh, eyeshadow. I'm using JSO from MAC, which is a white matte eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna take charcoal brown, always from MAC, which is a matte eyeshadow, and I'm gonna define very lightly the crease of the eyes, blending it uh, upwards um, and back and forwards. Now we're moving to the black. This is Carbon from MAC, which is a black matte eyeshadow, and I'm applying it with the 266 brush, always from MAC, which is an angled brush, which is gonna um, give us this really neat line. So I'm gonna apply the product slightly upper the natural crease, and I'm gonna blend it with a soft brush. We're gonna repeat the, uh, this um, step a few times, uh, so we're gonna have a more intense effect. And it, we also, between each step, we're gonna blend the product. Also, when doing the crease, remember to keep your eyes open and look forward, so you can see exactly where you wanna um, position the crease. So as you can see, we're gonna repeat this step a few times and we're gonna blend between each layer. So this is gonna give us a blurred and soft effect, but we're not gonna lose the definition of the crease. Now I'm gonna use Vanilla from MAC, which is a satin eyeshadow and is perfect for blending everything together and it's more blendable than the one we used before. Now I'm applying a white pencil in the waterline, uh, which is fascinating from MAC and we move to the eyeliner. I'm using the gel eyeliner from Maybelline in the color black and the very thin eyeliner brush, this is from Makeup Forever. So we do the inner corner first and now we're gonna do the outside part. Once we finish the outside, um, we're gonna do the flick in the end. So when I do this on a client, I always ask them to look on the other side where I'm working. Um, 
while when I do it on myself I just look forward so you can see where you're gonna do the flick so we do a triangle in the end of the eyes and then we're gonna fill it in with the eyeliner and just flick it uh, outside if you make a mess you're gonna always use a cotton bud to make a sharp edge now I'm applying a brown eyeshadow, which is the one we used before, just to give some definition to the under eyes. And we're gonna draw some uh, fake eyelashes using a liquid black eyeliner. To make this process, you want to imagine to draw some little triangles and you're gonna extend the outside part. So you have to be really precise and you can go back on the lashes after you finish them, just to make them fuller. Um, I'm using the same eyeliner brush we use on the top. And now it's time for mascara. I'm using the um, Argan Oil one from Rimmel. And time for lashes. These are from MAC. Um, and I'm using them with some duo glue. Uh, these are the really um, spidery lashes they uh, were in the, in the 60s. So you can see how perfect they are for this look. And now we move to the eyebrows, which I'm gonna mix uh, two color Omega and Run from MAC. And I'm gonna fill in Louisa's eyebrows a little bit. And I'm also gonna uh, bring them a little bit forward. Now it's time for contouring. I'm using a slick palette in the color medium and I'm gonna uh, sculpt the cheeks and the face. So I'm applying the color on the top of the cheeks, following a line that goes from the top part of the ears to the corner of our lips. I'm also gonna reduce Louisa's forehead, which is a bit bigger, so I'm gonna just shade the outside part with the um, same product. Now we move to the blush, and I'm gonna use uh, the blush Blushing Bright from Ben Nye, which I'm gonna blend to the top part of the cheeks, and a little bit in the center. We want to highlight as well the top of the cheeks and I'm going to use this dusty um, highlighter from MAC which is in the color Silver Dusk, it's one of my favorite. You can use it wet or dry, actually they didn't use highlighter in the 60s but I just want to make it more modern. And now we move to the eyes where I'm going to use the Bote Lip Pencil in the color Cotton Candy. You can use any pastel pink you have, uh, there's no difference, so I'm just going to shape the lips and then I'm gonna fill them in with a nurse lip pencil in the color Roman Holiday, which remembers me of Audrey Hepburn, Audrey Hepburn movie uh, set in Rome. So to finish the makeup, I'm gonna refresh everything with the Fix Plus from MAC, which is a refreshing spray, not a setting one, and it's gonna bring all your layers together. Now I'm gonna also paint some freckles with the MAC pencil in the color coffee, and I'm gonna blend them with my fingers. Uh, this is to complete the dolly look they used in the 60s, but if you don't wanna wear freckles, you don't have to do this step. So this is the finished look, I hope you enjoyed watching it and you learned something. If you did like it, please give me thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't and um, to share the video on your social media. Thank you for watching and I'll see you to the next one, bye bye!